things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Thank you. Just be seated for the announcements and what should have been stewardship moment at this time where someone, Parishioner Earth, will share their experiences in um, SAC and why it is purposeful for us to express our love by giving to SAC of our time, talent, and treasure. I will attempt to do that in one minute. But just to encourage you that, you know, we are charged by the bishop. Uh, when the vestry met with the bishop, as Deb um, spoke to us last week and explained, explained in a way that was very crystal, that SAC is strong. Our church is resolute. Our church is on the move. Our church is serving the community. Our church is the salt of the community. And we are called to support the work of our church. This church has made so many differences in so many lives, even myself personally speaking, and for me and my family. And we find it a pleasure and an honor to give whatever we can to this church. And, you know, for me, it's never enough as much as I can give. As we go into stewardship and commitment pledge cards are going to be sent out we ask you to look deep in your heart and see what you can do to support the work of this church what can you give to support the work of the church i remember years ago there was a commercial that asked what can this had to be a long time ago 25 cents per day do it can buy a cup of coffee it could have gotten you a couple of things so if you look at what, well, not 25 cents anymore, but maybe what $1 or $2 per day can do for you that you can do without, or maybe you can make in that instant coffee instead of Starbucks. I'm kidding. Um, what can you do and how can you re-energize you know, re and reboost your pledge as you make it for 2024? We are called to keep this church going. We have a gift in Reverend Rose, um, who has guided us through difficult moments and has taken us to that next stage. But shortly, we have to call a full-time rector, and a full-time rector costs. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the things that's said in church circles is that people see the work of the priest on Sundays, but that's 20% um, of the work, not minimizing what is done, but a lot more goes into the work and support of a priest, and so we, we are called to support um, that priest when we do intend to call a full-time rector. So that was my little spiel for stewardship and commitment. Next week we'll have a much uh, more robust and organized contribution. Um, do we have anyone visiting with us for the first time today? We're bringing the microphone to you so everyone can hear. I'm sorry. Here you go. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. I am from Guyana. Lyndon, my name is Doreen McFarlane. My brother invited me to come this morning. His name is Charles Gray, sitting next to me, and my sister-in-law. So I'm so glad to be in the presence of the Lord today. Welcome, Doreen. Let's give Doreen and St. Andrew and Holy Communion welcome. welcome. One of our welcomers will speak to you. Welcome to SAC. And your brother is already a missionary of SAC, having only visited us last week. And we're, we're happy to have you. We look forward to worshiping and celebrating with you 
um, in time to come. Little known, little known fact, Doreen and I are from the same part of Guyana. We knew each other before. Um, her nieces and I went to school, went to the same school, shared the same class, and so on. So welcome to reunite in this community. Reverend Rose will be back on Wednesday, November 1st. In the meantime, you know how to contact the wardens if, there is, if you need something resolved. Uh, we've sorted out the issue with the website. The bulletins um, are back up. I checked myself. Um, so that little glitch is no longer there. The Diocese on Youth Commission, we are trying to get the work going with the youths of the church. In the meantime, the Diocese, the Diocese on Youth Commission has some activities. Um, they're listed in the bulletin. If you have a young person that's willing to give some time, I, enjoy, I implore you to um, join this event. Now, two things. On next Sunday, November 5th, after church, we are going to have a ministry fair. I forgot what we called it in the past, but Sandra um, has some bulletins that she is giving out. And at the ministry fair, we are going to be um, advertising or sharing with you what are the ministries and the possible opportunities you have for further service to the church, where you can attempt, where you can feel God's call, where you can express that love that you have for God in serving in a ministry. When I started SAC, I tested the waters by taking the easiest ministry I could have found, which was the altar guild, or so I thought it was easy, but it was serving um, God. So even if you try one ministry or a new ministry. And on November 18th, I don't know if we are going to make, be able to be at Reverend Rose's 30th ordination anniversary dinner and dance as it's 5 a.m. as printed in the bulletin um, today. <laughs> Donald said he will not be able to make it. Then when I checked, it was 5 a.m. That's a typo. It's 5 p.m. Um, definitely we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't be asking you to come at 5 a.m. or we'll be dancing for quite a few hours. Um, so we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of Reverend Rose's ordination. Um, to be ordained to go through the process of ordination and accept that call, it's a tremendous sacrifice a lot of times to you and family and it requires a lot. And so to successfully navigate that path for 30 years, this is more of a thanksgiving to God for Reverend Rose and for her ministry. So there will be more details coming on that. Any other announcements for the good of the community? Good morning. I have two announcements. Um, first of all, the Devils are running in the park today, um, and the St. Uh, Andrew and Holy Communion Angels are, um, we, we switched to virtual, and we're going to do it this week. Uh, the whole team decided that we would do that, and we're going to do it this week. It's Eva Krasovsky and myself, so uh, we will be out there on the first really nice day walking around the reservoir. We did uh, contribute $160 on behalf of St. Andrew and Holy Communion to the, uh, to the race for RJW or WJ Barnabas and um, the New Jersey Devils uh, charity. And the other announcement is on November 12th, that's two weeks from now, um, we are gonna have the women's ministry is planning our first bake sale to earn money for the um, air conditioning system uh, for the parish hall. And um, you can contribute baked goods and there's a sign-up sheet downstairs in the parish hall. There's another one um, right out here on the, the women's ministry bulletin board. So please sign up to bring something and please bring your checkbooks and your money on November 12th. It is uh, 11 to one o'clock and we'll be eating and buying everybody else's delicious food. So please, please come for that. Thank you.
Good morning. Good morning. Um, November 12th is also our uh, second all ages service, and this is the service where the children participate. Um, it is also the Sunday that ends um, New Jersey Teachers Convention weekend, and I know some school districts have the whole week off and some families travel. Parents, families, please let your kids know what they will, if they will be in church on the 12th, because sometimes they volunteer for things not knowing that you're going to be on vacation or you may not be coming that Sunday. So if you could just share that information with them for the 12th so when they do volunteer, um, you know, they'll actually be in church. Um, and also um, piggybacking on what Jarek was saying about the diocesan youth events, there is actually an elementary retreat for third through fifth graders. And then there is the um, middle school through high school retreat where they actually stay over at um, crossroads for the weekend, which is a wonderful experience. The elementary retreat is one-to-one um, -one uh, child to adult. The middle school and elementary retreat, um, the ratio is a little bigger. Um, so we are hoping to send people from both to both retreats. So parents, um, the elementary retreat is in February. They are heated cabins. Um, the same with March. So even if it doesn't have to be a family member when we take the older kids. Um, if you're willing to spend two nights at Crossroads, um, please just let me know. Thank you. I want to personally thank this congregation for your continued faith and prayers for family members of mine that have been waiting for a very long time for the promise of life but i'm here today to tell you that your prayers have been answered and my brother-in-law does not does have a kidney and he will be under operation on november 21st and if anyone knows about kidney transplants it is very slim odds that anyone ever does get a kidney so i thank you Thank you, thank you for all your prayers, and please continue praying. Thank you. Thank you, and I see in the announcements that today, being the last Sunday in October, is a celebration of October birthdays. So we'll be downstairs as per the bulletin. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petition as may best be for us, granting us in this world knowledge as may be for us, granting us this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen.
morning prayer is ended, our service in the world continues. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. 